Welcome to the Third Wave Business Systems Advanced Productivity Pack Document Delivery Module Overview. My name is Dennis Tucker. I'm a technical manager at Third Wave, and I'll be providing you with some insight today into the functionality available in this module to email, print, or fax documents off of SAP Business One document screens, create one off documents, batch print or batch deliver documents using the documents printing screen and create advanced delivery scenarios using our application. We'll also examine the B1 email utility that gives you an easy to use email interface within Business One to enable you to create professional emails for your customers or your employees. Any emails sent out through the APP application create an activity in the B1 system so that you can track your communications sent. Before we examine the document delivery features of the Advanced Productivity Pack, let's look at a quick overview of the functionality that the application adds to your SAP Business One system. There are three major feature sets in APP, the Customizer Module, Document Delivery, and the Charts and Dashboards Module. Customizer allows you to make physical changes to UI screens, add functionality behind new or existing screen objects, add validations, and set tab orders. The Queries, Charts, and Dashboards module enables you to extend basic B1 functionality to create advanced queries with analytic capabilities like grouping, filtering, and sorting. It also lets you create powerful data visualization charts and dashboards based on these APP queries. The Security Audit Report utility provides you with an easy way to track users and which modules in SAP Business One they have access to which can be especially crucial for SOX or internal audit compliance. Document delivery allows you to email, print, or fax from any screen in Business One, including any screens and add-ons that were developed in the SAP Business One SDK. Batch printing of documents is supported through the document printing screen. In addition to that, APP provides an advanced delivery feature which utilizes a SQL query and can allow you to customize your delivery based on user-defined fields, properties of the item or business partner master data, user-defined tables, or regular SQL tables in the database to determine the list of what needs to be sent and who it needs to be sent to. That is a very flexible but powerful tool that can handle any situation for delivery information from Business One that you can imagine. There are 12 to 15 standard report templates that come pre-installed with the application. While many screen definitions in Business One come pre-configured to attach reports to, the user has the ability to configure new SAP screens or add-on application UI screens in APP for use with the existing application. The first example that we'll look at is loading a sales order and delivering from a single marketing document screen. In order to do that, Click the email button here. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've set up the emails to be delivered into the drafts folder of Outlook. However, it can be set up to deliver directly through Outlook or SMTP email. If you'll notice, when I click the email button, not one, but two draft emails were generated in my Outlook drafts folder. Let's take a look at those. The first is a sales order acknowledgement to the client. As you can see, the email is very professionally formatted with an embedded image. We've incorporated Microsoft Word as our email editor, so anything that you can do in Word, including spell checking and other formatting options, you can use an APP to format your communications. If we look closer, we are not only emailing this information, but we are faxing it as well. APP supports all internet-based fax providers. You can also see that everything from the email subject to the attachment name to the message body is customizable. We've incorporated the SAP sales order number, the order total, and order date in multiple locations in the message. In addition to sending a single order acknowledgement to the customer in this case, we have also leveraged another APP document delivery feature of report groups to send out multiple emails to different recipients. The second email that was generated is a notification to the salesperson on the order alerting them that the customer's order was received and that their commission will be paid. 
So the report group feature can be leveraged to handle a workflow to notify multiple people or departments of incoming orders. At this point, I'd like to illustrate something I mentioned earlier, that each email generated creates an activity in the Business One system. If I right click on the document and select the option for related activities, we can look at one of the activities that APP generated. The subject of the email sent is listed in the activity remarks. The complete body of the email is in the extended text entry field. The activity is linked to the appropriate sales order and your email attachments are saved to the activity as well. So at any point, you can double click the activity attachment to view the PDF that was sent with your email. The next example will be a simple batch printing scenario. I'll use the SAP document printing screen to print a range of invoices, number 105 to 110. APP is compatible with all of the fields and features of this screen, including the number of copies to be printed. When I click the OK button, I'll have several options to choose from on how to deliver these printouts. I can print, email, fax, or select an option marked Contact Preferences. That's a robust feature where at the business partner level you can set up the desired method or combination of methods differently for each partner. I'll click OK and you can see that the APP delivery process has been initiated. It's very important to note that while the APP delivery is in progress, you are still free to move about in SAP Business One and work. This is especially important if you are delivering hundreds of documents at a time. This can happen without interrupting your workflow. You can see that as this process is continuing, emails and faxes are being generated in my Outlook Drafts folder and that each message is pulled in the appropriate to and CC addresses for each email or fax. If any of these messages had been set to print on the contact preference, they would have been directly sent to the designated printer. Next, we'll take a look at an example of the advanced delivery definitions that are available in APP. If you've set up an advanced delivery definition, it can be executed by selecting the menu option under the APP Reports menu, Advanced Delivery Definition submenu, and selecting the option for your advanced delivery. I've already set up some Dunning Advanced Delivery Definitions to notify customers who are in various stages of the invoice aging process. In this case, I'll select the Dunning 90 Days Plus option which will execute a query associated with the Advanced Delivery Definition. You have the ability to set up predefined parameters, and as you can see in this definition, the Days Late column is set to look for a value greater than 90. You also have the ability to specify additional parameters and define the relationships between them. When you click the OK button, you are presented with a list of all of the records that satisfy the criteria specified. You have the ability to select or deselect which of the records will be included in your delivery. Once you've selected all of the appropriate records for processing, you can click the Print button, the Deliver button, or the Both button. I'll select Deliver and you'll see that APP starts the process of delivering the documents. Again, each delivered document, either by print, email, or fax, will generate an SAP Business One activity. The last feature that we'll cover today is the B1 Email Utility. It's accessible through the Tools drop-down menu and selecting the Email option. This is a familiar looking interface where you can select your two addresses and filter them by business partner contacts with a specific business partner code, filter by employees, filter by users, or if you're using our marketing campaign management application, you can also filter by marketing campaign accounts to email your sales leads. Once you've selected your addresses, you can choose to create an activity, receive a delivery receipt, receive a red receipt, and create the contents of your email body in the Microsoft Word interface. All of the regular features of Microsoft Word should be available to you to assist you in formatting your messages. You also have the ability to edit and deliver this message. If I go back to the sales order example, instead of clicking the email button, I can use the right click menu option to access a specific APP report. Select the deliver option and the reports option screen has a button for edit and deliver. Clicking that button will load the B1 email interface with the email message. 
The message has completed the composition of the email, including any mail merge and attachments that allows you to preview the results so that they can be modified in any needed way before delivery. Once you've finished reviewing any modifications, you can click the send button to deliver your email. For more information on Third Wave's Advanced Productivity Pack delivery definitions, the Advanced Productivity Pack in general, or any of the other applications that Third Wave offers, please visit our website at www.twbs.com. You can click the Contact Us link in the upper right corner of the page. Existing Third Wave partners and customers can obtain more information through the support portal by clicking the Customer Support link in the upper right corner of the page. Thank you for your time and attention.